Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today we are going to feed another Black Widow spider. We have some soldier fly larvae, and I have some Dubai roaches. All right, well, she sees that really quick. Now, the soldier fly larvae, you buy these online. They are feeders. Um, obviously, it's the larva of the soldier fly. Looks like she's going in for a bite. I, yeah, yeah. Larva does not. Oh, when the larva fell, it dropped. It got away. Yeah, she caught it down here in the bottom. Actually, the larva ended up getting caught between Black Widow's legs. So the Black Widow spider is on it again. She is slinging some webs so it does not fall all the way to the bottom of her containment. And I need to move her into a different container because this one is getting just filthy in the bottom. The uh, soldier fly larva is still moving around, and as it moves around, it excites the black widow spider, and it gets her attention. When it stops moving, it appears that the black widow spider doesn't seem to care about it that much anymore. So we have some Dubai roaches still down, wandering around on the bottom here. So I'm going to pick one up, and I will put one of these roaches that was put in here days ago, I'm going to put it up in her web. That's if I can get it. Trying not to squish the roach as I'm putting it in here. Because, you know, with these tongs, you don't want to do any damage. All right, so we got the roach up there. Black Widow Spider sees the roach up there, but she's not really going for it. She's laying some more of that really sticky web. You can see the droplets there that she lays that on the web. The roach is kind of moving around. And, and those droplets are super, super sticky. You can see the rest of the web here. It's not sticky at all. The roach can walk across it. We saw the flies walk across it before. It's this super sticky glue-like substance that the Black Widow produces. That's where the real catching in the web it comes from, that really sticky stuff. And it looks like she is laying out some more. You'll notice as she lays it out, she will continuously bring one of her feet up and she'll clean it with her mouth because she doesn't want to get stuck in her own sticky trap. But the rest of the web, I mean, it's just web that anybody can walk on, apparently. But if this roach were to go right there center between Black Widow's batons, then there's, wow, that's a big sticky glob there. There's a lot of this sticky stuff and that roach would be just glued to it. There would be no getting out at that point. So as you can see, periodically, the Black Widow Spider goes back down to that soldier fly larva. I don't know if it's because it moves and it triggers one of her webs and she says, oh, i got to get down there, or if she just remembers it's there. I don't know. She's dividing her attention, obviously. Let's put another roach in. Oh, that one didn't work. That roach just ran away. On top of the web. Spider web's supposed to be sticky. Not Black Widow spider web, unless you get the sticky stuff. So we have three roaches in here now. The two I put in and the one I picked up from the bottom of the container. And there's probably a couple more in the bottom of the container. Okay, Black Widow spider headed down to that roach. Looks like she's making some move. Ah, roach just scooted away. So it's back to the soldier fly larva. You would think all this roach movement would cause her to, I don't know, maybe try to take one eye or something? Or is she just saying, hey, I got this larva down here, I don't care about the roaches? I don't know. You'll often see bugs nibble at the web, and not necessarily just to, you know, if they're stuck, to chew themselves out, but I think they eat it or try to eat it or taste it to see if it's food. You can see a lot of really sticky stuff in this web, so if this roach were to walk down the front then it'd be in trouble. She's doing a number on that soldier fly larva. She got it suspended there. This is not going to fall down this time. She's slinging out web, and you can just, oh, some sticky stuff coming out in the web, too. And as that sticky stuff on that web attaches to this larva, she's going to be able to haul this bug up, and she's cleaning off her feet because she has sticky stuff on it. All right, she seems on the move. It's because these roaches keep moving around, and maybe they're triggering web. Looks like she's taking a bite of the larva, and I really can't tell what's going on there. 
She goes from trying to tie it up, to ignoring it, to climbing up, to climbing back down, to laying out some sticky traps up there for the roaches. I don't want to say we've confused her. She's having trouble, you know, prioritizing her mission here to say, I'm going to just concentrate on this one thing now, and then kind of wander away. And she might just be climbing up to the top to hoist it a little higher with a web. That might be what she's doing, is, is running some web up there to heave it out of the location that it's at. But it is weird that she keeps going right back down to it, and I can't really tell if she's bitten it or if she's trying to bite it. It's, yeah, I don't know. But it is definitely interesting what she's doing here. She's continuously tying it up, and eventually she will be hoisting it up to her perch where she likes to hang out. But you would think eventually these... Oh, she almost, oh she's doing a good lift there. You would think eventually these roaches would stimulate her enough to say, Hey, i got to do something about them. And really, if you look at it, she has moved that larva up considerably. So here are two roaches hiding on the back of Black Widow. I just stay back there and the spider won't get us? I don't know what they're thinking or what they're doing. This whole time we have the lid off this container, so I'm going to have to put the lid back on the container. I did it to get some light in there, because, you know, the walls are getting kind of dirty. We need to put this lid back on so nobody escapes, because all it takes is one bumping over of this, and then who knows what's going to get out, right? And then we have this net that we put on top of it, and we put this net on top of this because remember when we had the flies in there, the flies, some small house flies, were able to get out the holes in the top. Now this ain't going to stop spider babies if they hatch, but yeah, you know, it's better than nothing, right? All right, what do you think? Boy, this black widow spider, she knew what to do with that soldier fly larva, but not with those roaches. Yeah, I hate black widow spiders, but they are efficient, and they have some really sticky stuff going on. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.